Hello, Night City! After my last few videos, I thought I'd take it a bit easier this time around and just do a simple project. Not too long ago, Narb posted a video on building his dwarven foundry. Not too long after, he shared pictures on his Discord showing off his dwarven blacksmith without a hammer. I thought this was a great idea for a character and asked for his blessing to work on a project inspired by it. This was obviously a dwarf blacksmith who was so powerful that he could punch the very metals he was forging into submission to create weapons, armors, and even horseshoes. Anything that could be smithed, he would with the thrust of a fist. I thought it deserved a spotlight of its own and I set to work on the sculpt. I thought of how this character would interact in his own world how he would be heard of far and wide, and how stories of him would have knights and warriors of all creeds and allegiances seeking him out. They would have probably have commissioned works of art of his likeness, or fathers carved small toys made of wood for their children to play with. Whispers of the name Herrick would often be heard in taverns, around campfires, and in royal courts. Fact and fantasy would intertwine, bleeding into one another, and the stalwart dwarf would be revered even in his own city under the mountains of might, deep in the coldest part of the world. I don't really consider myself a good sculptor, but I have fun when I do these sort of things. It's the process of molding thought into a physical object that I think I get the most joy out of. I had this idea of making something that looked like it was carved in stone or wood, and I felt like this mini needed to look like it was ancient, handed down over generations, kept clean and intact, cared for by the family line that continued to inherit such a priceless artifact. Even as I sculpted, I wanted to think about lore, but most of the fun of this project was turning my brain off and just letting the epoxy sculpt in my hands do their thing. Part of the goal with this sculpt was exaggerating the features, as old stone or wood carvings would be. Huge pectoral, slim abs, and giant right fist ready to strike. All of these were the hallmark of artisans of ancient Greece and Rome. I wanted to put myself in the shoes of one of those artisans and show how impressive he was. A merchant probably would have made a lot of money by offering a trinket made in various materials. The harder to work with, the more he could ask. Perhaps this particular figure was the only one ever made, or maybe it was made by Herak the Mighty himself, passed along his bloodline to the present era. When I think about the history this figurine could have had, the life it could have seen, it's hard not to feel like it has its own presence, like the power he wielded could be shared by the people who've been touched by the stories handed down. Stories about Herak subduing a fierce griffin who kept stealing his creations, or taking on a giant who threatened his homeland. I made sure to think about playability as I sculpted him and put him on a base. There is a small anvil for Herrick the Mighty, though I think I'll wait to paint that when I eventually do a scene for him. I'd like to thank Narb for giving a name to this dwarf who captured my imagination and for giving me the opportunity to take this project on, and I'd like to thank all of you for watching. So now, it's your turn. Go and imagine something.